In the Florida canals, the bullseye snakeheads tend to lie right in close to the bank. So for bait, I was using an artificial frog. And for a change, I was fishing fairly light with a single-handed rod and a small multiplier reel. Then it's all down to a stealthy approach and accurate casting. Oh, yes, ah. There was a hit. There was a hit. There was a hit. When you get a take, it's so sudden that the automatic reaction is to strike straight away, and this pulls the bait out of the snakehead's mouth. And I did this several times. If you've actually missed a fish once, that fish won't be fooled again. You've got to move on and try another spot. Look at that. Oh, there's ah. one. Oh, no more. Ah. But eventually, I managed to override this reaction and pause for a moment. And this does make the crucial difference. When you finally got a snakehead on the end, the first few moments are heart stopping. And then when you see the snakehead on your line, you're just overcome by this unreal feeling. This fish is thousands of miles from its natural home, and it was lurking just inches away from somebody's back garden in sunny Florida. Have a look inside the mouth. There we go. That's definitely the mouth of a predator. All those teeth there. And it's not just smaller fish that it eats, it eats things like frogs. I mean, that's what I was using, an imitation frog, but also things like lizards, rats, even small ducks. Asian Snakeheads, part of the Chinaday family, by Spencer, Alan, and Mark. Overview. Origins. Where the snakehead came from. Physical characteristics. What makes them unique? Behavioral characteristics. Why is the snakehead a strong species? Why is the snakehead a dangerous invasive species? Effect on humans, migration to North America. Summary and conclusion. Origins. At least 50 million years ago, research indicates snakeheads likely originated in the South Himalayan region. Most snakehead species were located in Asia and parts of Africa. Snakehead species have been found in North America, mostly pertaining from the Asian fish market. Physical characteristics. Most snakeheads grow up to two to three feet long. Have a more snake-like appearance compared to normal fish. Have small, sharp, and shiny teeth. The snakehead species has a superbronchial organ, thus allowing them to breathe in water and on land. However, they do have to surface in order to breathe. Physical characteristics continued. Snakehead species have the ability to squirm on land like a snake, which allows them to migrate to different and many different ecosystems. Snakeheads are resilient and thus can survive in almost any trophic state. Behavioral characteristics. The Asian snakehead is considered an R-selective species because of the amount of offspring they create. However, they express K-selective traits, meaning snakeheads have a very strong paternal connection with their offspring. Thus, showing in the picture, the snakeheads are circling around their offspring, like a K-selective parent would do. However, there is many offspring, so therefore it is also considered an R-selective species. Behavioral continued. The snakehead species has very aggressive traits, in some cases more aggressive than a piranha. As shown here, a blue tilapia is torn in half by a giant snakehead. Snakeheads will kill aquatic life even when food is not needed or necessary. Strength of the snakehead as a species. The snakehead grow to be quite large, but do not lose mobility, thus placing the snakehead species fairly high on the food chain, with no known primary predator. The snakehead species can sustain temperatures between 0 to 30 degrees Celsius. They can feed off of almost any type of food, including plants, insects, and crustaceans. They're most commonly found in shallow, slow-moving, densely grown lentic systems, but they can really survive in any aquatic system, lentic or lotic. They're a dangerous invasive species. The snakehead species have a very high reproduction rate and have been known to take over many ecosystems fairly quickly. Some catchment ponds in the United States have been completely poisoned in order to terminate the migration of the snakehead species. In the United States, you require a permit in order to obtain a snakehead fish or eggs, but only if there is a scientific, medicinal, educational, or zoological purpose. They are not allowed to be kept as pets or served as food. Their effect on humans. 
Snakeheads have been known to attack humans, however it's fairly rare. The largest species of the snakehead is still native to Asia and Africa. North American born snakeheads are not as large of a threat to humans, but concerns and warnings are in place in areas that are populated with the snakehead species. Human's effect on snakeheads. The snakehead species is commonly cultivated for human consumption in Southeast Asia. The dish is considered a delicacy, and some snakeheads are placed in aquariums and used for pets. Up, just up underneath the, the skull, so they'll rise to the surface, gulp air, that air is forced up into those air chambers which acts in, in many respects like a lung. To complete this monstrous picture, some say the snakehead can do something few other fish can, walk on land. Out of the water, snakeheads rhythmically move their fins and muscular bodies back and forth. It's the fish equivalent of walking. And if snakeheads do in fact use this ability to cover distances above water, it's a resourceful adaptation. Walking on land could mean the difference between life and death. As the battle of man versus snakehead continues, biologists and fishermen refuse to sit back and wait. They monitor population growth, study DNA, and gather as much information as possible, hoping to find a clue to the best way to control this frankenfish. Only time will tell how dangerous this foreign predator is to the ecosystem. But one thing's clear, the snakehead has already earned the title of an unforgettable fish villa. Summary and conclusion. Overall, the snakehead species can be a deadly invasive species, with many routes of survival that can flourish almost anywhere. Although snakeheads are still invading ecosystems in the so southern states, the threat has been notified and actions are still being taken in order to minimize the effects they have on the systems they are invading.